Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon Complete Collection. Here we are in our little zoo and I made a decision. So remember last time I built something really wonky and weird back here? I changed that. Um, <laughs> now we have a little like food court here. Um, I filled it with flowers to bring up the guests like... Is it approval? I think that's the word I'm looking for. Um, but we're going to start putting restaurants in here. And then we can put, like, playgrounds and things as well. Um, so let's put restaurants. And I want to do... I think there's, like, four different restaurants in the game, if I remember correctly. Which is, like, perfect. Let's see. Dino gift shop... It's arcade, fancy burger stand. So they're not stands, they're restaurants. Cotton candy stand, submarine shop. I think it'll say restaurant. Nacho stand, shaved ice pagoda. Ooh, a dolphin ride. I forgot that was in the game. Where the heck? Where the heck are these restaurants? Ooh, a petting zoo. Carousel. Aquarium. Animal theater. Compost building. Yeah, let me put this compost building in the middle. Are they not? Oh, here we go. Rainforest restaurant. Okay. And I'm going to guess that's centered. <laughs> sure. Prairie Dog Cafe. I'm going to have them facing this inner route here. Or actually... Do I want them... Do I want them facing on this road or this road? That's the question, isn't it? Um, Probably this road, since that leads right to the entrance. People will be like, oh, there's a restaurant on this road. Let me walk all the way down. So that might be the plan. Okay, well, I was doing it correctly. So Prairie Dog Cafe. Rainforest Restaurant. The Lobby's Restaurant. These restaurants are very eclectic. And then just the standard restaurant. Okay. So now these are going to take care of our guest needs. Um, very, very eclectic. But it's fine. And then we can put like... Benches around... Just kind of here. Turn those around. It seems like I spaced these all pretty well. Which makes me happy. Because I did not think I was doing so. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, I want to put flowers behind those, I think. It's been a minute since I've played, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, the flowers are here. Oh, we can get topiaries. That's kind of neat. Um... Nah. Maybe if I just do, like, hedges... That'll kind of help delineate the space a little better. Uh, I still don't love that, but it's fine. This is all fine. Right? I didn't put uh, two of those on the pathway, actually. God's above. <laughs> this perspective's a little hard sometimes. Okay, give me a bench, girl. There we go. Now we get the hedge again. 
Okay. And then I could just take the hedge... Like, right behind the restaurant, too? Kind of make a wall out of it? That might be the move. So it delineates the space a little bit more. Can't see what I'm doing, but it turned out fine. Okay. And it looks like people are going to the restaurant, so that makes me happy. That's what I want. Okay, let's do the other side now. Isn't this thrilling? <laughs> you guys are probably so bored, I'm sorry. This is how my brain works. I've never really been able to, like, visualize things. It's very much I have to have, like, the pieces in front of me and then I reconfigure them. I don't know... I don't think that's, like, a unique me thing. I'm sure that happens to a lot of people. But yeah, like, I don't know. I have just a general sense of what I want. And then I have to, like, play with the pieces to make sure that I do it correctly. I can't just dream up an image in my head and then recreate it from the image in my head. I have to have, like, everything put out in front of me and then I can work with that. Um, while we're here, I want to see if any of the... No, not those ones. If any of the other buildings, like, fit behind these. Like, would an aviary? No. Of course not. Um, hmm. While I'm thinking about what else I want to do here, let's get rid of these. So we can stop people from coming down here. Because they are overcrowding the animals, and that's not very cute. I hope I did not just delete that child who was riding that ride. <laughs> I don't think I did. Okay, get rid of these. No, I do not want to delete that fence. I just want to delete the walkways. And I did. So good. All right, now we need to put pathing in. That's not here. That's here. Where's my standard concrete path? And we'll take this all the way here. And then move this one here. And then I want to, like, put trees and stuff along here. I was also kind of wondering about painting this grass and making it savanna. Let's just do it. Two by two. That's three by... Th Is there a four by four? Four, yes. I was expecting to hear the little, um, oh, are these not the same width apart? Oh, they're not. Okay, so I can do three by three. Or I could do one down the middle. Let's do one down the middle. I thought I was going to have to do two by two, but I was not aware of the size of this area, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. It's five wide. I thought it was four. Okay, so we'll just do the one down the middle. Because this will keep the guests away, f I think, far enough away from the animals. So they don't feel overcrowded if they're just, like, walking on this one central path. But I still want to put savanna grass. But when I was placing that savanna grass before, I was like, oh, um, that path isn't wide enough. Hold on. It's still wonky. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's six wide. Okay, so it is too wide. I just did it wrong. Okay, let's put this fucking grass down. God's above. Um, but yeah, I want to make this savanna grass, and then I'll put, like, umbrella thorn acacia trees and baobab trees and stuff like that lining this walkway so it looks nice. But it won't be too close to the exhibits. 
Um, I think I got distracted again. I think what I was going to say is when I was placing this grass, I was expecting to hear the um, happy smiley face noise from the animals because I normally don't place terrain outside of exhibits. That's what I was going for. Um, <laughs> then I got super duper distracted. Sorry, my brain's a little weird right now. Okay, so this is all going to be savanna grass, and it's looking nice. Oh, another thing I did off camera, so I set this thing up. Another thing I did was I went and I googled a a, um, a guide for the leopards, um, and they are no longer very angry. <laughs> I was able to determine what kind of exhibit they preferred, because some of the animals apparently aren't programmed super great. And so um, it's kind of hard to make suitable exhibits for them because they're like, I don't want this, man. Uh, so yeah, I found a guide that gave me this exact specific items I needed to place in the exhibit and it worked really well. So they're not angry anymore. I saw that a zebra died. Do we have enough zebras? The zebras die really quickly. Where is it? I think it's plain zebra. L M N O. No, we don't. We only have one zebra, and it is a male. So let's get you a mate, and hopefully, I don't know why the zebras die so quickly. Um, and I think you can have two. There we go. That'll work. Alrighty. So we have all the savanna grass now in the savanna section. Let's look at it from afar. Nice. It looks cohesive. I didn't really like having that strip of grass up the middle. Not ideal. Okay, so one, two. Oh, and someone said, um, is it control G? Oh, <gasps> yes, I can turn the grid on and off. Perfect. That's what I wanted. So now when I'm placing fences, there's a grid, even though I'm going to place a, an aquatic filter like always. Okay, so now we run this up here. Boom. Now we have another path in the middle and we're going to line this with trees and it's going to be pretty. And I'm very excited. Feeling very excited. Okay. We're going to use the umbrella thorn acacia tree because she's a star. She actually is a very popular tree at this zoo. Um, okay. So every we'll leave two spaces and then put a tree. Because then I can put the Baobabs, I think, on this space here. I am not certain, actually. It's fine. Whatever. Um, I'm using a lot of money on something that doesn't really matter, but it's fine. So, one, two. Isn't this riveting content? Are you all happy you subscribed? <laughs> I'm happy you subscribed. So that's enough for both of us. And this is going to be uneven, isn't it? No, it works. Thank the gods. Oh, I didn't plan that and it all came together. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Okay. So now we go back. Boom. And now I don't have to really even count. I can just like see where the other one is and place it. Maybe I'll put rocks. Just keep all the umbrella thorn acacias and then put rocks in between them. That might be pretty. Because the baobabs are kind of big. They take up a lot of visual space. Okay. I'm trying to make sure I get these right. And if they're wrong, it doesn't really matter. But I would like for things to be symmetrical. Okay, so now let's put like... Oh, and of course I can't straddle them. I could put termite mounds, but that seems a little excessive. Is there... Oh. Hmm. I know, I, I'm pretty sure there are... Maybe I won't do rocks. Um... 
I can't really do that either. Okay, is that good enough? That might be good enough. It's good enough. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. This is all fine. Uh, maybe I'll put benches here. That might be good. Yay, the zebras gave birth, so now they won't hopefully die out again. <laughs> Zebra extinction. Okay. Um, that one is not correct. What happened there? I don't know, but it's wrong on both of them. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> That's the theme for today's episode. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, so now let's come back up over here. And I think I'm going to put playgrounds behind these places. Oh, game. What's going on? There we go. I wasn't even doing anything. You're scaring me. I mean, I could put, like, fountains and statues and crap like that. But, like, uh, let's be realistic. Okay. So which way is this facing? I think that's correct. Yeah, it is. Okay. So then we'll do a line of these. And then we can have a line of Orca ones. And then we'll repeat that on the other side. Oh! Didn't mean to do that, but it works. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Everyone count along with me. Okay, so that's good for there. I'm wondering what I can do back here if there's anything different. Maybe I could fit, like, a ring toss game, a gifts shop. Just nothing that'll compete with the restaurants, because the restaurants are restrooms and food services. And so I don't have to have restrooms or other food services, because they fulfill that role and they make more money. Um, so I could do, like, a gift shop that doesn't fit, because of course it doesn't. Hmm. What is this? Shaved Ice Pagoda. No. A swim with dolphins ride doesn't make sense. I think that has to go on water. Ooh, here's a big old dino slide. Nice. Let's do that. And then, is there any other toys? Not that I can see. There's Putt Putt. But I, that's not going to fit in there. There's an elephant ride. I know there's a ring toss somewhere. Because I think I... There it is. Uh, I'm just going to put more of these little things. It's fine, we can put orcas in the front this time. Because kids need more room for that slide over there. Hopefully they can get to that. I didn't really think that through. It's fine. <laughs> oh, this is all fine. I don't think they can. Can they get through on this side? Yeah, they can get through. They can get through. It's fine. Okay, so... Orca, orca... Dino, dino. Okay, so there's enough playground for all the children. And um, there's places to sit over here. And there is restaurants. So that's all good. Um, are the animals still feeling overcrowded here? Let's see what this hyena thinks. No, they are not overcrowded, but their other needs are not being met. So that's good. Um, <laughs> I'm not having a very good time at the zoo today. But we got some things done. So that's nice. Eventually, I'm going to have, like, path shooting off here. 
passing off here and then this one all the way to the back and um and these randos are just wandering around i think i probably deleted like a, a path from under them and their routing got screwed up but this should help deviate a lot of the traffic up this central thing because i don't think these animals mind no they're not too fussed about it um because I don't think a lot of the people are like stopping to look. They're just kind of walking through. So hopefully animals aren't getting too crowded. But we can start putting in exhibits here. Next, I wanted to like go down here. But at the same time, it might make more sense to kind of work off where we've already got and get this all filled up. So it's close to like the exhibit, the other exhibits and the guest services and things like that. So I think I'll probably start with like the desert animals, like the... Um, Let's see. The... Like the Gembok. Gemsbok? Yeah, there is an S in there. The Gemsbok, the Camel, the Saltwater Crocodile. I might try and fit those over here because they're pretty close to... Um, to like the Savannah animals. Are they all from Africa? They are all from Africa. Well, oh no, the Saltwater Crocodile is from Southeast Asia, apparently. Um, and we're not going to do the Loch Ness Monster or the Plesiosaur. But yeah, I can fit those three there, I think. I think. We'll try it out. Um, <laughs> but that's going to be for next time. So thanks for sticking around with me for this faffing episode. Um, next time we're going to start working on exhibits again. And I want to do those three animals I listed. So we'll get to that. And then on the other side of the path, I'm not sure what I want to do. We might move to like ice or alpine because they're a little smaller. Coniferous forest is also pretty small. So is deciduous. The grasslands are small because I think that's just the Przolski's wild horse and the American bison. There's just two of those that aren't part of um, like if we go to Zoo Tycoon. Yeah, there's just those two there. So maybe I can stick them. And it makes sense to put them near the savanna because grasslands are just savanna. So we might do that too. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you in the next one. Alrighty, bye!